Hello everyone, here in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can create a testimonial sliders in your Shopify store. So basically, this is a custom section which you can add in your Shopify store. And this is very much helpful. This is auto sliding and this is very compact code. And uh, there are multiple features which I have already added like uh, title, image, and uh, description, arrows, and auto slider feature, and full width, and there are multiple other things like background color change. So all these things which you can add in your store also. It doesn't matter that which theme you are using because this is applicable for all those themes which are free or maybe paid. So let me show you step by step that how you can implement the same thing into your store. So first thing is that let me remove this uh, and then I will walk you through that how I did that. So I have this testimonial slider. Let me delete this. And here you will see that uh, in the dashboard, I also need to remove the coding. So let me click on edit code. And here we have slider, testimonial slider. So let me delete this. And then you should, you should actually start from here. Like uh, right now you can see if I'm refreshing this page, you will know more able to see that testimonial slider. And one more thing is that I have already created multiple videos related to collection slider, images slider, pricing table, videos slider, product slider. So you will be getting link below in the description for all of them. So now we are going back to the dashboard and you can see that I have installed down theme. If you have any other theme, then still you can use this feature. So the first thing is that you need to click on these three dots and duplicate this theme because if you have any problem or something, so you can roll it back to its original version. Then after you get, again need to click on these three dots and click on edit code. And here you can see that we have multiple folders and files. So basically we are going to create a new custom section. So you need to click on sections, click on add a new section and right here, testimonials slider. Testimonials dash slider and then click on done. So inside of this custom section, I have some code, which is the default code. So I need to remove that one. And then after I have already given the link below in the description. So you just need to copy and paste that code. So basically this is the code which I have already created. There are multiple settings which I have already added there. So you need to paste that code and then click on save. And now you need to go back to the dashboard, click on customize. And here you will see that we have multiple uh, options. So at the bottom, you can see we have add section, click on that and right here slider and it will automatically search multiple slider. But right here, I am talking about testimonial slider. So you need to click on that. And then after you will see something like this. So inside of it, we are actually going to add, add multiple testimonials. So for say example, these are four testimonials. Let me click on each of them. And you can also, uh, yeah, let me upload first of all some images. And then after we will do the other stuff. So I have added the images. Now I also need to add some title. So I can say here, Alan Walker, maybe Alan. So let me copy and paste everything. So let me add some dummy text. For say example, lorem ipsum. Yeah, right here. So I am adding actually the dummy description here. And then you can also add the name. I am adding some dummy text here. All right. And now you can see that uh, over here, we can see this is uh, displaying. So now we are going back to the settings. So here you can see that we have testimonials. You can change it to testimonials slider. And uh, here we have the option of uh, section heading alignment. You can put it left, center, or maybe right. But right now I am adding it in the center. Then we have section heading size. So you make it smaller or maybe larger. But right now I am making it me medium. Then we have full width section. For example, you don't want any uh, spacing around. So you can also do that. So, but now I need it. So I am keeping it as it is. Then you can also change the background color of this. For example, I am adding this background. 
and uh, then we have section uh, padding top and padding bottom so you can add spacing on the top bottom then we have an important feature of enable auto slide so basically right now you can see it is auto sliding without clicking on arrows so if you wanted to keep it enabled after each se six seconds it will be sliding and 6000 millisecond means six seconds then we have arrow uh, left and right so you if you want you can disable them or maybe enable them but right now i am keeping it uh, enabled then we have arrow shape so you can make it small uh, uh, circular or maybe square and then we have the arrow uh, color also so you can put the arrow color then we have image shape you can make it circular or maybe uh, square and then you can also increase the size like bigger and now we have number of visible slides right now i have added only one so you can also put it two so two testimonials will be displaying but right now one is looking more better so let me keep it only one then number of visible slides for mobile so if you will see in the mobile view it looks it 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 looks like this so basically this is looking more better than uh, adding only two so for now let's keep it as it is then we have a testimonial name font size so for example this title uh, lorem ipsum so if you want to increase the size so you can increase it but for now i'm keeping it uh, like 24 okay then save the changes and we have also one shadow if you want to make it but now i think it is not required at the moment now you need to refresh this page again and here we go now you can see that we have testimonial slider we have title we have description and it is auto sliding we have arrows if you want to use the arrow you can also use it and in your mobile view it will look like this so this is looking more beautiful than before so that's how you can actually let me refresh it and then it will be uh, aligned more better So in the mobile view, you can see that at the bottom, let me show you. So this is the testimonial slider. This is looking more beautiful than before. So that's how you can actually add it into your store if you are facing any issues or something. So definitely I will help you out in uh, solving that. And you can see in the previous video, I have added uh, product slider. Then I have video slider and then I have added pricing table and then uh, images slider collection carousels so all these things i have already uh, created videos for and you can uh, see the uh, links below in the description so definitely it will be helpful for your shopify store as well because these are free we are not using any kind of app this is super simple and very much uh, responsive and it has no impact on our store speed because we are not using any external library all right so thank you so much for watching this video if you're new on this channel then please subscribe this channel also like this video if you have any new store to create or maybe new section to create so i'm ready to help you out in uh, solving all those things and uh, you will be getting the contact details below in the description and uh, if you want you can also follow me on instagram facebook and uh, tiktok you can also join a whatsapp group and if you want you can also join uh, the uh, youtube perks where i am giving free consultations to my uh, subscribers so thank you so much once again. See you in the next video.